Nabi Shalom Akiyam Shalom Call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rakah HaKadash I want to send double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone Much peace, love, and salutations to your Akiyam out there pushing the word in sincerity and the truth It's Brother Ariala And uh, I just want to do a quick lesson This is going to be kind of a, a World War Three algorithm a Calamity and distress of the people This is what's getting ready to come you know, calamity and distress of the people. And I pulled up this word, calamity, in the etymology. As we see uh, these, um, the Vanessa being passed out, you know, the Vicky, Crown Vicky being passed out, uh, more people are starting to stand up against certain uh, mandates and everything like that. And it's causing division amongst the nations, divisions amongst the people within the nations all across the world. And it's going to bring more calamity as people fight on one side and the other. Now, this, you look at this word calamity in the early 15th century. It says, damage, state of adversity, a great misfortune or cause of misery, right? Damage, loss, failure, disaster, misfortune, adversity. And we see these things coming. We see these things coming for sure. And it says, early etymologists associated with uh, calamus, or straw, says, on the notion of damage to crops. All right. Uh, it, it says, perhaps it is from a lost root also preserved in, in columbus or uninjured. All right. And so, that being said, man, as things begin to continue, or as things continue to ramp up and go to the next level, uh, we're going to see people, want more and more friction amongst the people, more and more fighting amongst the people. People are already kind of fighting online, and you see all the uh, Karens, you know, white Edomite women, you know, losing their nursing jobs and, 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 and exposing the, the, the true nature of the Crown Vicky. All that, those type of things are coming more and more and more. And so I wanted to go through a couple of uh, articles and some scriptures. I wanted to start off with this one in Sirach, the 10th chapter, because we understand that we're at the height of Esau's pride. You know, they're getting ready to uh, come out with the MOB and roll out, and roll out the MOB. And the, the whole mission of the MOB is, is, is pride. It's, it's, it's ultimate pride to think that you're going to be able to be as the Most High. And so it says here in, in Sirach 10 and 12, the beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High and his heart is turned away from his maker. For pride is the beginning of sin, and he that hath it shall pour out abomination. And therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. Okay, the Lord hath cast down the thrones of proud princes and set up the meek in their stead. The Lord hath plucked up the roots of the proud nations and planted the lowly in their place. Okay. The Lord overthrew countries of the heathen and destroyed them to the foundations of the earth. And we're seeing that process happen. We're seeing these calamities begin to turn up all across the world. Now, I have pulled this article up here on Wikipedia. It says protests over responses to the uh, 19 pandemic. And when you look into this thing, it says there have been protests, demonstrations, and strikes around the world against natural, national responses to the ongoing vid pandemic by governmental bodies. Some have protested against governmental failure to stem the spread, and others have been driven by the financial hardship resulting from government uh, measures to contain the virus, including restrictions on travel and entertainment, hitting related industries and, and casual workers hard. Protests against restrictions on people's movement, compulsory uh, wearing of face masks, lockdowns, vickies, and other measurements, okay? Now, when you read this, look at all the different protests in the different places around the world that's going on currently. So it's, it's a huge list. In Africa, you got places like the Ivory Coast, Kenya, Nigeria, you know, the, the, the list goes on there. You have uh, protests going on in Asia, over in China, uh, in India, in Lebanon, Pakistan, Europe. Look at all these different nations that have uh, people protesting out in the streets, extremely angry about the, the shutdowns of their businesses, the mandatory uh, 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 vickies that's being passed out, and, and the restriction of being able to move. The scriptures talks about these things over and over and over again. 
So look here in Europe, how all across Central and Eastern Bloc Europe, you have protests. Southern Europe, Italy, Netherlands, Poland, Russia, Serbia, Spain, Bulgaria. This is happening all across the world. Of course, we understand what's going on here in the States, but in North America in general, in Canada, there's protests, Cuba, Mexico, everywhere, right? Now, it says here in, under reasons, in order to prevent the spread of the virus, which gave rise to the 19 pandemic, governments brought in health measures at varying levels of strictness to restrict the movement of people and transmission of the virus. In response to these uh, restrictions, protests have been organized at a number of locations around the world, and strikes have also occurred. Some of the protests have criticized governments for not acting effectively enough in their responses to the pandemic, while others have been opposed to preventative measure, measures and called for their uh, revocation. All right. According to analysis as part of the Global Peace Index, as of July 2021, there had been around 50,000 protests linked to the pandemic worldwide, 5,000 of which were violent. All right. Uh, C-19 lockdowns have inspired protests in many territories from the late 2020. Deployment of, of the uh, Vicky also uh, inspired protests, right? Now, what does the scripture say about this? It says, I just exited it out of what I wanted to read. But I'm going to skip over to 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 13. It says, uh, no, no, I'm going to go down. Verse 14, it says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and the destruction draw of nine, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the courses of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of their pride the city shall be troubled, calamity. Their houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Right? So all of these things are increasing, right? We're seeing truckers beginning to uh, strike because they're putting doing mandatory uh, vickies on them and other type of restrictions and stuff like that. We're seeing uh, you not being able to go into certain types of businesses if you don't have a certain uh, passport. All of these type of things is happening, and it's just causing more and more tumults of the people. Let's see if this plays. Might not play. We'll see. The World Health Organization is warning of a new wave of COVID infections and deaths. This follows weekend protests in France, Italy, and Australia against new restrictions. Here's CBS's Elizabeth Palmer. Riot police faced off against French protesters this weekend who are angry about rules that make vaccine passports compulsory to enter many public places. But most people have accepted the idea. At the Eiffel Tower, everybody in the line has to show a proof of vaccination barcode or certificate or take an on-site COVID test in order to enjoy the views from this famous landmark, which has just reopened after nine months. In Athens, too, there were demonstrations after the Greek government made vaccinations mandatory for health workers. It's also insisting ferry passengers traveling to the Greek islands show proof of immunity to protect its vital tourism industry. Over on the other side of the world on Saturday, police in Sydney ducked flower pots hurled by protesters, furious about a new lockdown. Australia had kept COVID at bay by closing its borders, but the virus sneaked in anyway, and infections are now on the rise. And here in England, Young clubbers celebrated not only the end of lockdowns, but all COVID restrictions, partying in crowded venues on so-called Freedom Day at the start of the week. The number of people testing positive. Right. And so you're going to see more and more of this as they begin to go ahead and bring more of these different ma mandates down. You know, we all know what Biden got up there and 
basically proclaim that he is king and you're going to do what I say or you're going to get, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to get. But we're going to begin with the current crisis facing this country, the COVID pandemic. Tonight, President Biden is getting fierce pushback to his vaccine mandate that would impact two thirds of American workers. More than 20 Republican governors are lined up in opposition. The president is firing back, calling those governors cavalier with the health of children. And he appears ready to battle it out in court. Boosting his case is new research showing that if you are unvaccinated, listen to this, you are 11 times more likely to die from COVID. A- right. More fear mongering, right? More fear mongering. So, you know, you see how the, uh, the GOP, you got these different governors of the different states. They're resisting the different mandates that Biden is trying to push. And so it's leading into what? A divided house. And the scriptures talk about that. Matthew 12 and 25 says, And Yahweh knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to a desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Okay, and so what we're, what we're seeing is this, this house and the two little horns that we speak about, that spoke about in Revelation, there's this clash happening, and it's going to ramp up. It's going to continue to ramp up. And even if you look on social media, you see people just arguing back and forth. Oh, you should take it. Oh, you shouldn't take it. All oh, this. All that. And what is that going to lead to? More and more calamity. Here in Sirach, the 40th chapter. And the... um, the, I'm going to just read verse 9. It says, Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked. And for their sakes came the flood. Okay? And so we're... We're at the height of wickedness. We can go back in uh, 2 Ezra 15 and read at the top, and it talks about how all of these things have built up until this point, you know? That's why we're seeing more and more of these arguments getting ready to go down, and they're going to push more and more propaganda. Pretty stunning number. CBS's Weijia Jang is going to lead us off tonight from the White House. Good evening, Weijia. Good evening to you, Nora. Republican leaders are accusing President Biden of bullying and coercion, and they promise to take steps to stop those new requirements from taking effect. But tonight, the president is not backing down, stressing that lives are at stake. Tonight, new CDC data reveals how deadly the Delta variant can be as cases soar across the country. Those who were unvaccinated were about four and a half times more likely to get COVID-19, over 10 times more likely to be hospitalized, and 11 times more likely to die from the disease. At a middle school in Washington, D.C., President Biden urged young people to get their shots. That's it. Simple, plain, straightforward. Get them vaccinated. The push came just one day after the president rolled out the toughest federal vaccine mandates to date, including a new rule that employers with at least 100 employees must require workers to get their shots or get tested every week. Nearly two dozen Republican governors have publicly opposed the plan. Clearly, uh, we have uh, a president acting outside the bounds of the Constitution. Some have even threatened to sue the administration. Mr. Biden's response, bring it on. Have at it. I am so um, disappointed that uh, particularly some of the Republican governors have been so cavalier with the health of these kids. Yeah, man. And so you're going to see just more and more of these back and forth as they begin to uh, push uh, the MOB systems. And they need this chaos so they can come in and, and set order. And so they, they're going to see the numbers of, of infected people is going to continue to skyrocket. And they're going to say it's out of control. And towards the end of the year, it's probably going to be a, a mystery variant and um, a whole new uh, system of regulation that needs to come in and be able to to be able to save everybody. Right. So th- that's why the Most High is going to start to bring more and more calamity and judgment. It's going to be to save the elect right here in Ezekiel 35 and 5. It says, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, uh, saith the Lord power, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate and cut off 
it and, and cut off from it him that passes out and him that returneth. And so Mount Seir is representative of what? The Edomites, who is the so-called white people. And this nation of, of, of Babylon the Great, which is America, okay, all the uh, European nations, we're going to see more and more bloodshed, death. All of these things are going to start to really start to rain down as everything continues to ramp up and, and, and get more and more serious. These restrictions are going to get more and more serious. Everything is going to get more and more serious. And it's going to be going down. It's going to be going down big time. Okay? So call hello, Yahweh, about you, Meow, shout for that. Let me see what else we got here. Um, basically, just I had this pulled up because it was just kind of talking about the mandate backlash that was kind of, kind of businesses who may consider requiring proof of vaccination from customers this is extremely dangerous it's very divisive it's segregationist it's discriminatory here's the message um the people who want vaccine passports are the ones who are happy to let you go bankrupt because they are too afraid to go out for over a year the people who want you in business are the ones you'll be banning. The word boycott doesn't appear on the flyer, but activists say that's their plan. I personally will not use the services or buy food from a business that requires a vaccine. Unvaccinated people's lives don't matter. More local businesses have started requiring proof of vaccination, like Hot Monk Tavern. Its website says out of an abundance of caution, it will require vaccine cards for ticketed concert events. Every people must have to get vaccinated. Aaron Napani says he'll consider vaccine proof if the Delta variant gets worse. In the future, not right now. Right. Not right now, I have to trust with them. Whether they're vaccinated or not vaccinated. Isabella. It's going to cost these guys too much money, man. And what, you're going to see all hell breaking loose when they start to, especially when uh, a lot of these employees are going to start to be removed from their job. A lot of people that are refusing to take uh, the Vanessa are going to be caught out here. And it's not going to be a good look. It's not going to be a good look. Uh, thousands protest amid, amid global anger uh, against uh, restrictions. We, we all know what's going down in Australia, but it's really everywhere. All of these things are going down, and it's, just, it's going to be nothing but more and more and more of a buildup. And we're watching watching uh, everything come to pass that, you know, apostles and elders have been seeing, brothers have been talking about, we've been highlighting here on these different algorithms. And what we, what we're, just, we're just seeing the next thing. We're just seeing the next thing. And as they get ready to pass, do the whole vaccination card thing, it's just going to get worse. So, you know, I just wanted to highlight that, talk about that. I don't know if we're going to put this up on YouTube or a bit shoot or whatever, but I wanted to go ahead and record it, man. Call hello, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Rakahakodash. Double honors once again to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Much peace, love, and salutations to y'all. I'm out there pushing words and serious truth. Shalom.